Now, the 2018 Commonwealth Summit is taking place in London this week, and for many, it's an opportunity for African leaders to reassure the international community of the stability in their countries as they seek foreign investment. But what about the future of the continent and its young people? Well, several delegates from the Commonwealth Youth Forum are also attending the summit, and the BBC's uh, Sophie Kenya caught up with some of them earlier. What would you take home, for instance, from this uh, Commonwealth Summit, from your fellow uh, youth? This is the largest forum ever um, since Commonwealth. I mean, Youth Forum is 60% of um, the population within the Commonwealth States are young people below 30. It, it means we've got the energy, the resources to drive that kind of change. So the message we need to take home is empowering young people and in giving them the opportunity into decision-making spaces, the opportunity to attract funding to get youth-led accountability, the opportunity to act and change and make the Africa we want, because honestly, it's inside. Is it holding the government accountable? Is it holding leaders accountable? Or what exactly is it? Well, we were holding leaders in this perspective accountable to the commitments that are made to us. But this does not necessarily mean that we're attacking them. We're actually bringing them on board, telling them, let's work together. We, the young people, have innovations. We have ideas. And you have the experience. So if you bring us on board in terms of development, we know that we can have a better uh, Africa. We can have a better Zambia. Let me move to Primrose. Primrose is Zimbabwean. Uh, you have a new regime now. Are you hopeful? Is the youth being included in all the decision making that you fought for? Out of the discussions that we've been having at the Commonwealth Youth Forum, there's a lot of hope for young people. And there's a lot of hope for, particularly me as a young person from Zimbabwe, we were in discussions of, you know, a lot of different innovations by young people. That stuff I can take home as a young person to share with other young people and we can take that on board and try to implement the same things in our country. Yeah, Zimbabwe was suspended from the Commonwealth. You're here basically as an observer. Are there any moves to try and re-engage with the Commonwealth? It will be an opportunity for us to re-engage with the external world. It will be an opportunity to showcase what we are doing as young people. Uh, Diamond, yeah. Sierra Leone was hit by one of the worst crises uh, some years back, the Ebola crisis. Yeah. And you've been quite passionate about the recovery process, you know, post-Ebola crisis. After the Ebola, we have a network called Alumni. Young Leaders Network. These are people who have volunteered for certain causes and they are there. So the country's got massive resources. I mean, you, you talk about massive resources. Yeah. Where is the disconnect then? Why is it that Sierra Leone somehow get, gets hit and it just almost crashes when it comes to disasters? Well, all of the disasters that has kissed Sierra Leone um, are virtually new to us. We've never had Ebola before, we've never experienced mudslide before. So there were new phenomenon and then you know, when it happened, the kind of shock, the shock at the government angle, the shock at the community level, the shock at all as young people. So um, we were happy experts came in and they had to train us through the process as training of trainers and we had to rule that out. In 30 years, describe Africa. I want to see a female president in Zimbabwe. Jisere. I see a youth Dangote from Zambia and I see Gazire as the gender minister. I see years. a continent where every young person sees hope and don't die in the Mediterranean. A continent that will be proud of and say, there is future in sight. Many of us are dying in the sea now because we don't trust in what we have. But I see that world, that world will be happy saying, I'm coming back home. I don't feel like going to work in Europe anymore. I, we can build, we can fend for ourselves, we can be independent, we can have a very decent democracy and across, and we can have a model that can influence the other continent. That's what I see. 